the chief whip of our municipality, Councillor Mkize, chairpersons of committees, executive, com executive members of our municipality, chairperson of the district, House of Traditional Leaders in our municipality, Inkosi Babamlaba Siakulega Kosiesis Sal, and all other traditional leaders present in our meeting. Our acting city manager, Mr. C. Pontele, with your DCMs, and all the other administrators of our municipality, honorable councillors of our municipality, the servants of the people, business sector leadership, captains of industry, interfaith leadership, leaders of the organized labor, members of the media, residents of our municipality, Abapatibeti. Ugui bona ba vota yo bespage emanzeni ugodi tina sibe zitunywa zabo siya bingelela san bona nonge. Good morning. Today we come together to commit ourselves to recommit ourselves to the people of Etiwin municipality that will spare neither strength nor effort to build a city that belongs to all who live in it. Inspired by the ideals of the Freedom Charter which remains our guiding document for social economic agenda and change. Madam Speaker, in a time of uncertainty, despair and anxiety, let me perhaps begin with the words of one of the greatest sons of Africa and the revolutionary Amilka Cabral when he said, I quote, hide nothing from the masses of our people, tell no lies, Expose lies when they, told, they are told, must know difficulties, mistakes and failures, claim no easy victories. I close quote. Madam Speaker, following the consideration of the magnitude and severity of the COVID-19 pandemic outbreak, a national state of disaster was declared under Section 3 in the Disaster Management Act of 2002. This pandemic presents unprecedented challenges for the city of Echeguin and the rest of the global community. The COVID-19 pandemic also presents us with unique opportunities to utilize the national stage of disaster to accelerate our resolves to embrace the fourth industrial revolution as we are meeting in this fashion as the council. Ours as the city is to leverage the new normal to lay a solid foundation for the evolution and the industrialization of the city's economic trajectory. Honorable Speaker, His Excellency, the President of our country, Mr. Cyril Ramaphosa, instructed us during his State of the Nation address to establish an infrastructure fund and a new approach to building our infrastructure. This new approach enjoins us as the city to build a new social compact with the private sector, organized labor, and communities. Our social compact must identify critical interventions to build a professional public service and a city capable of playing a transformative and developmental role in realizing the vision of the National Development, development Plan and the District Development Model by 2030. Honorable Speaker, our new normal will require collaborations between all sectors of the society and strong leadership by government. In a society with deep social and economic divisions, neither social nor economic transformation is, is possible without an effective government, bold and decisive intervention. Under this new normal, the city must provide the institution and infrastructure that enable the economy and society to flourish. It is in this context that together with our social partners, we have developed a post-COVID-19 pandemic economic recovery strategy. A key and central pillars of the economic recovery strategy will be implemented of our radical socio-economic transformation program. Section 217 
Subsection 2 of the Constitution, Honorable Speaker, provides for the implementation of a procurement policy framework that allows for, firstly, categories of preference in the allocation of contracts and the protection and advancement of persons or categories of persons disadvantaged by unfair discrimination, in particular the youth, rural women, military veterans, and people with disability. All these sectors, Iwona, Ekmele, Ashomule, Emnotweni, Wala Peningism, Africa, Umangabe Upega, Lisis Kaba, Somcheto, Segelo, Wezuela Git. As we embark on the decisive implementation of the economic recovery strategy, we are charged with the responsibility to foster increased collaborations with strategic institutions such as National Treasury to improve our governance and financial outcomes, research and academic institutions to improve our understanding of the new normal and to build a youth-driven skills revolution demanded hereof. Lapa somlo mosi shugu tikba legi ilu tikpwa ni ingwe kutuwa nangisisu gaase ngoba umnoto wagiti uguzu ubuyele kubandu aba iningi kilelizu uzo tinguti abanda basha bebe so pondu ini lalo umnoto futi kube yibo aba shomulayo uguze impilo zabo zishinche zibe ngoona. Private sector organizations to improve the speed and effectiveness of how we deliver services. Madam Speaker, it is an honor to declare that our vision for the new normal is to use the national disaster as a catalyst to drive the integration of the city into provincial, national, global supply and value chains in line with Section 217 of our Constitution. Shuti fanez juli lisa skati, so guti naati siku hulumeni stunye lwe isizu. Kota siloke spegiza, tuzutu ngana bantu bagi chifane bekubege, benga shomuli emno tuwe nwezwe la giti. Kota mcheto segele uktizelela uutikmene ba shomule. Kakulgazi, abantabasha, abantabasha basenda unesi makaya abamnyama, abantu bisufazane, abantabapila abakubazigile, mese uba abantu bagiti, ababa masosha, bayi nigela nge mpilo zabo, uguzebelo linkulegu ya lilizu. It is in this context that we are tabling our 2021 budget policy statement. The African National Congress declared 2020 as the year of unity, socio-economic renewal, and nation building. Under this theme, regardless of our political affiliations, we are called upon to unite for a common goal to defeat COVID-19 pandemic and to accelerate the radical socio-economic transformation. This pandemic has once more reminded us of the agency required to reverse the skewed socio-economic patterns in our society occasioned by the leaguers of apartheid in elevating the history of apartheid leaguers. Siti gekban legi ilu utmas pege mumba na pos kamu akona si pege utilom no tuwe tu inje la owa kege nga ayo banga ganani ngoba aba yini Kulelizo ebona bakishole nga panje isimo somnoto Leoku wawenziwe inchaga zoba njululu Kanye nemtecho ebegu yone binga mele kubuswa gwezwe la git I'm reminded by former president His Excellency Tabompegi Mr. Tabompegi Tabompegi's words When he said, Madam Speaker, I quote Gloom and despondence have never defeated adversity Trying times need courage and resilience. Our strength as a people is not tested during the best of times. We should never become despondent because the weather is bad. Nor should we turn triumphalist because the sun shines. I close quote. Madam Speaker, it is our utmost belief that the unity of peoples that liberated us from apartheid will once again set us free from the socio-economic impact presented by COVID-19 pandemic. It is therefore incumbent upon all of us, united in our diversity, to improve the quality of life of all citizens of our municipality and tap into the potential to grow our economy and create much-needed jobs by our society. As an economic center of our province, and an economic gateway to Africa, 
Etewin is a strategic economic geographic position which must be utilized not only to advance our regional economic growth, but to unite our people and draw multitudes of those who were previously marginalized into the mainstream economy. Madam Speaker, our primary objectives have been to stabilize the municipality and significant strides are being made to accelerate service delivery, creating a positive, a positive investor climate and improving governance in our city. We have also been encouraged by the people of Echeguin and all our stakeholders and partners who have welcomed the plans we are implementing to turn around our city. The Integrated Development Plan public consultations have assisted us to understand the need to increase the speed and effectiveness of our service delivery programs. And as such, we want to affirm to the people of Echeguin that the 2021 financial year budget will be characterized by radical service delivery actions. Madam Speaker, it is important to note that the tabling of this budget policy statement of our, of our city coincides with Africa Day Celebration Week. On this day, Africa celebrates successes and achievements in the fight against colonialism and apartheid. It is also a time for reflecting upon the common challenges that the continent faces in global environments such as poverty and the COVID-19 which has presented itself. Madam Speaker, this virus had had a devastating impact not only to the economy but also on people's livelihoods as they continue to lose jobs on a daily basis and their source of income. We want to assure our residents that we are handling this pandemic with necessary care and the capability that it is required. Madam Speaker, the COVID-19 pandemic economic impact is worsened by the following underlying socio-economic challenges. Firstly, using a high rate of unemployment, low technical skills base, the intermediary status of the economic sectors dominated by black business such as performance arts sector, industry, a ACT, creative industry, ngoba bevale legile amatuba kulezi zinyi mboni, efana ngabebenza kangono guzo. Over-reliance on tourism sector, yes, tourism is our catalytic uh, sector that we need to promote and also benefit from it, but we need to diversify as a city so that our economy can attract more investment moving forward. The monopolistic nature of our economy Africa. 